Hi everyone and welcome to the autumn of series 14 in Forza Horizon 5. This is the trial and it's called bumper to bumper just like the one last week and like the upcoming trials for next two weeks as well. All of them these series are called exactly the same which if you ask me is a little bit confusing but nobody actually asked me so we have what we have. And another recurring theme for all the trials in this series is all of them are anything goes with only class restrictions regulating which car we bring. And this one is B class in dirt racing as you can see so I chose my hands down most favorite rally car in B class in the whole game which is the 74 Honda Civic RS. It may not be the best uh, rally car in B class but it's definitely one of the best because its only real drawback is it's a reasonably small and low car and when passing through the water barriers like this one it suffers from extreme slowdowns obviously something that you would not see in the 4x4 or other higher car but overall it is just not that important it's not a cross country where the puddles and water barriers are quite common in dirt racing there's not that many of them and the speed on the rest of the distance usually compensates very well for it in any case this is my favorite car in this category as i mentioned already and i've been starting first so rng is favorable towards me this time around usually i'm not this lucky and as you can see we are easily and nicely in the first place building the gap over both our teammates and the AI. AI is actually very very far behind which is not much of a surprise. Not only we have an absolutely superior vehicle but they are also the AI I mean are restricted to stock cars as usual which yeah well makes them non challenge at all. I need to learn to break in this corner. I keep forgetting about it one day if I missed the checkpoint, no I didn't, it <laughs> absolutely looked to me like I missed it and I felt like ooh, that's not gonna be nice but uh, somehow the hitbox registration again favored me this time around and it this checkpoint actually registered somehow, anyways we are moving ahead, there's one teammate who is reasonably close to me but uh, that's actually down to probably two things. One of them is a smart car choice that uh, if I'm not mistaken by the name that should be Mercedes-Benz X-Class which is excellent cross-country vehicle. I don't quite like it too much for the rally racing as I mentioned I do prefer this Civic but it's a very very solid choice and that's one of the things about anything goes that I guess I do like is that uh, you know while I stay kind of conservative and just choose the car I believe is best for the discipline it's always interesting what other people gonna bring into the race and the car choices sometimes are reasonably funny but uh, there's nothing funny about the uh, Mercedes-Benz X-Class because it's just an excellent excellent car to choose it looks like we are slowly but steadily catching up with the teammate in the last place and I don't know if there's still enough time to actually lap them by the end of lap 3 but that would be mm, quite bizarre they, why are they going that slow well I don't remember what they are driving uh, but yeah I guess uh, to each their own um, the, the person in that car would probably have a little bit of difficulty beating the um, the trial on their own but now the team is performing good enough to carry them and yeah I'm not close enough to actually lap them but that's fine that's okay one more lap and we would do this now my really dirty um, Civic crossed the finish line in the first position the team score is also really nice no problem there whatsoever easy win of the first race in the trial and let's go for the second one in Cascada Trail. The trails or sprints are quite a bit easier and faster than circuits so 
it should be an easy ride and look at that i'm first again the rng is really good to me today hopefully that's not lost of my luck and i don't run out of it right after we start but let's go for the race now need to do a bit of a clean start here avoided any collisions avoided any trouble and up in third position now chasing the two ai's in front this corner is usually a carnage oh there you go uh, look at that our teammate in the mercedes x class have misjudged the breaking point and ended up all the way into the wall that costed them quite a bit of time and a lot of positions but they seem to be recovering well, reasonably well obviously collision like that doesn't go completely without a cost to it but in the meantime we passed the last of the AIs for the first position uh, about a quarter into the race so the rest will be just an easy drive home and looking at the team scores there doesn't seem to be any problems there as well even our slower teammate that was very last in the previous race who I almost lapped this time is ahead of one of the AIs which is a good achievement I still forgot to glance at what it is they are driving but I would bet something that is not tuned at all some stock car configuration and that would probably be a mistake but it almost doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things because we are cruising to an easy second victory this time around I'm not contested by anyone the only competition from our own teammate in the Mercedes is still catching up after the crash in the first corner still touching some of the walls here which is not a good idea but yeah I think we are absolutely safe for the home run to the finish there's just a couple of corners left we are getting onto this area where we pretty much change the direction back 180 degrees and then it's a straight line all the way to the finish and yeah our teammates are just approaching the braking zone as you can see the water is not a problem here we have enough speed to just blast through it and use the advantage of our Honda to bring the second win as you can see nice and easy highly recommend both the car and the tune because they are absolute pleasure to drive and really good speed with that that's it for the trial this week thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one